Hi everybody, so I am back. <laughs> sorry for the technical difficulties. Yeah, sorry about that little glitch, that little hitch there. So um, where we left off at, we were talking about cutting in your cold butter. And give it, give it like uh, maybe 20 seconds and let those people get back on. And while we wait on them to get back on in 20 seconds, I have a rendition for you. Chin up, chin up, oh dun, 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 dun. Sprinkle, dinkle, dun dun dun, right side in, dun 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 dun, dun. up with your chin and chin, chin up. Okay, that's enough. Wow. Okay, so. The <laughs> <laughs> wild out over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh my god, really? That's the commercial to tell everybody to get back on. Oh is where we are. Do, 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 do. It's enough of this wide eye wanderer that we got this far. Y'all hurry up and get back on there. Hey, hey, Kizzy, mine too. Hey, sis, that's mine too. Real talk. So, so you guys, we got, we have our, um, so we left off, you guys, with the, with the butter. We cut our butter in. Remember, key, uh, key to your mixer is to make sure you use very cold butter. You want to use very, very cold butter. That's going to give you great results. So we added our three-fourth cup of evaporated milk. Um, remember how I was telling you, it's your option on what kind of milk that you want to use. Today I'm using evaporated milk, three-fourth cup, down in there. So now, after you incorporate your milk, you want your dough to start to pull away from the sides. So see how that's kind of looking? You want this type of consistency where the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl. See that? Now me? Yeah. My sister said I'm missing the song. Oh, you're right. I, I forgot all the words. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I see the dough. How's it so going, now, Steve? How's it going, Angela? <laughs> don't encourage me in that foolishness, Please Angela. Please don't encourage me. <laughs> so now what you want to do, you want to flour up your surface. So this is flour. You just get your flour, spread that out there. The reason why you want to do this is because after you've added your milk to your ingredients there, your dough is going to be sticky. So it's, it's going to be kind of, it's going to cling to you. So you want to have a flour surface so it doesn't stick to the board. And you know what? I, I want to say on a side note, uh, rest in peace to your mother, Stephen. Uh, yeah, that, that loss is a tough word. And you're definitely in my prayers. Definitely yeah. my prayers. Uh, definitely in my prayers, Stephen. Uh, I also want to say that shepherd's pie that you had on your page looked really, really amazing. And we had to, I meant to show you the rest of uh, what he had, he had like a shepherd's pie on his page. It looked really, really good. You Bit made it? I think. Did, did you make it, Steven? I mean, let us, don't be holding back on it. <laughs> don't hold back on the recipe. Don't hold back. <laughs> he said he never used evaporated milk before. I've always been a fan of buttermilk. Yeah, you can it. even add buttermilk. For buttermilk biscuits, absolutely, yes. Yes, absolutely. If you feel it rich, do it. Or like us, I mean, we... We, we're brand new with it, but a thing that we, we use a lot now is this right here. Oat milk. Oat milk. Oat the milk. Shabani brand, though. The Shabani brand. It Shibani tastes amazing. So amazing. Amazing. I was like, oh, I said, wait a minute now. I said, ho, ho, whoop, whoop, hey, hey, wait a minute now. Yeah. It's a really, really good uh, oat milk. Because oat at milk. first, you know, you know how a lot of, um, you know, because if you're somebody who does enjoy drinking milk, like eating cereal and stuff like that, a lot of times... You know, if you're lactose intolerant or you're somebody who's just trying to, you know, cut dairy out of your, you know, out of your uh, diet for health reasons, right. but you still enjoy the taste of it, a lot of times the alternatives don't taste very good. So, Chobani, that product actually tastes really uh, good. Uh, my sister says she loves uh, rice milk, too. The rice milk? Rice yeah. milk is good. Is I, that the rice dream that you drink? Is a rice dream, sis? Uh, we do either oat milk, or almond milk, or cashew milk. I, I don't, I don't, I haven't drank cow, drank cow's milk in, in years. To be honest, you guys, the Chobani, that oat milk, because I've tasted oat milk before by other brands. This one, hands down, is probably the best uh, oat milk that I've tasted. Chobani, definitely. Oh we need, God, to get, yes. we need to get a check from them. Yeah. This is much promotion we do with Chobani. Okay. For real. But hey, uh, <laughs> for real. Seriously, we love Chobani. Seriously. So we got about a one inch thick. 
So we got a one inch thick uh, dough. Dough there. Uh, so. Steven said he'll share his recipe for uh, for shepherd's pie. That's amazing. You better go ahead now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use, I like to use, instead of using a baking pan, I prefer to use a good old-fashioned cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillet, Cast iron gentlemen. skillet is a big, heavy old thing, too. I prefer to use this only because of the fact that a cast iron skillet tends to hold, it, it's like it's so versatile. You can go from stove top to oven with it, and it holds a very even uh, heating temperature. And also, your biscuits tend can, to rise Can you tell oven. them the advantage the the only down I'm not gonna say downside but the thing that I learned about this and I should have known this because everybody's grandmother had this in their house as a child can, can you guys it. attest to that so the thing is these the you know you have to really keep them dry because they rust real easy right yeah you cannot let water sit on a cast iron skillet it will rust iron rust Rest iron, you know? Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> but you know, some of those old people, man, they used to have this thing where they used to say, I don't know, if you're from the South and from a show of hands or hearts, how many of you guys oh, have heard? You go. <laughs> how many of up. you guys have heard older people say that they like cooking in this type of skillet or iron, whatever you want to call it, because that was a way of getting iron in your diet. Oh my God. I'm not even <laughs> from the South that I've heard that. Jesus. They was like, yeah, I burnt it so you can get some iron. Hey, that's why I was like, that's okay. That's a good way to get home with rust poison, okay? So, <laughs> that's not a way to get iron in your diet. That's a way to get rust poison, okay? How many so, of you guys have heard that though? Wait a minute. That's like, I don't know, oh is that like a God. southern like a southern myth or something? Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> terrible. Do not rest your cast iron skillet to get iron in your diet. Just take a pill. Or some, just take a pill take or some eat pills, some meat. Man. And have a steak. It's just, don't do that. <laughs> Tell grandma if you see her, say, Granny, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you so, not to do that. So what she's doing now? I'm just cutting them. I don't have cutting. a biscuit cutter. So guess what she's using, folks? So I'm using actually. See, you got to learn how to improvise. So I'm actually using the run of the rings from the lids from my mason jar. So I'm using that. And actually, now that I think about it, because I've got um, wide mouth jars, I actually could probably make them even bigger. If I look at, if I look at those, those are pretty big. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to use those for right now. But I would like to get a biscuit cutter once uh, everything's... You gotta do what over. you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. So we don't have a biscuit cutter now. This is the biscuit cutter right here. This is gonna have to be the biscuit cutter Bam. right here. Yes, yes. So okay. and it's a pretty good biscuit cutter. And yeah, she knows nice and she knows I'm a cheapskate. I say just keep the, the jar thing. Oh Lord. Hey, hey, it's working, isn't it? Yes, but no. <laughs> I'm going to spend some money if we don't have to. Because I would prefer not to have biscuit <laughs> dough under my fingers. Oh, okay. That's, you got a point Because a biscuit, you know, a biscuit cutter comes with a ring. You can hold it and turn it like this. So you get much better leverage and, uh, what, dexterity? Gotcha. That makes yeah. sense. So this is our biscuit. I'm working and uh, getting all that I can out of this uh, biscuit dough. Mm. So I'm pushing that down. But keep in mind, folks, uh, again, for you you guys that just came on, that's not a biscuit cutter. This is not a she biscuit cutter. Rig, she's rigging it up. Yes, we we rigged this. We call it rigging. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word. But we, they we, know. <laughs> they know. We rigging it up. And then because I don't like to let any of the dough go to waste, this last piece, I try to use it all the way, you know, all the way to the end. So what I'm doing basically is just kind of working the last of this dough into this ring and kind of shaping it because mm -hmm. i want to get every bit of it out um, i'm probably gonna have some bigger biscuits in there because i'm kind of like kind of roughing through it so okay normally this would yield about eight biscuits so we've got one two three four five six seven okay. seven, seven biscuits yeah so probably some are going to come out a little bigger than uh than others but you know like i said i just wanted to do like a rough demonstration of um making homemade biscuits and there i have it folks just like this put it in a 400 and about 425 450 until they're golden brown on the top mm -hmm. and take them on out you can take them out during the baking process and brush them with butter and, and end that's up your end result look at like turn this it around on the top oh yeah yum <laughs> and let me show you guys something 
for the finished product, right? Look at it like watch. You know it's cold right there. Oh, it's cold. It's a cold biscuit, so it's a bad demonstration. Okay, no, it open right up. You see how that? See, that's how the inside will look. Look at there. look how it looks on the inside, folks. So get your biscuits hot and fresh out of the oven. Mm, mm, mm. And these perfect for a Sunday breakfast with some of the White Oak Barns homemade jams and jellies. I'm telling you, you split your pants. You hurt yourself, folks. And real <laughs> quick for the the folks that didn't see it earlier, we want to show you guys the pineapple jam. Oh yeah, right? the pineapple jam. Yeah, the we pineapple. Did pineapple jam. And we did kumquat. And kumquat, yes. This so is our kumquat jelly. We just kumquat haven't jarred it. Yeah. We just haven't jarred it yet, but that's our that's, marmalade. That's it, in all of its uh, perfection and its glory. <laughs> in all of its glory. But uh, we love the pineapple. I, honestly, I'm not just saying it just to to just to BS, as they say. Um, I would probably say that the pineapple. And the peach are my favorite flavors. Pineapple and peach. Yeah, the pine definitely, definitely the pineapple and the peach. Yeah, some people have definitely have like their uh, their favorites. Like, um, shout out to Chanel if you're on. We know Mr. Kevin. He prefers grape, and we know that you wanted peach. What so, What are you guys' favorite flavors for the people that are on here? Yeah, because what we are some of you guys' favorite ready flavors? To start taking orders in just a little bit. Hang tight with us. Um, I think Angela, Angela, Miss Martin, Miss Martin was saying that. Uh, what did she say? What do you say your favorite flavor was, Miss Martin? I think it was apple cinnamon. No, it was Doris apple cinnamon. Well, we um, but we we, we end up we end up making that you know because of suggestion. She said she know about that uh the cast iron. But you know you from Alabama. You, you gotta cast know. Iron is mad. And I've got two of them, you guys. I've got this one she, and then I've got a she smaller she one. she said it. See, she see? said they say the cast iron is already seasoned, but I still oil mine and put it in the oven. Yeah, I do. Exactly. I, I oil mine too. I like to oil it to keep away rust, but that's my little one, and then that's my big one right she, there. She swears by this cast iron skillet. I love my cast iron skillet. She was asking me for months about <laughs> this cast iron skillet. Yep. For I real, said, because your seriously. kitchen, really, truly, you know, your kitchen is not complete until you have a cast iron. She said, when the mango and papaya, you know what, thank you for reminding us, because we got some papaya. We some do some have mango, mango in there, we just haven't made it yet. Yeah, we do have so, some mango, and that's one of the flavors that we were going to be working on for you guys. What about, uh, what do you want to do about probably Wednesday? Uh, yeah, give us a tell about Wednesday, um, you know, because I do know that some people like tropical flavors. We're going to be trying to bring it all for you guys. The mango... We definitely have some creative ideas in mind. Maybe some well dragon fruit. Maybe some passion maybe, fruit. I don't know about dragon fruit. Uh, maybe. Some we'll people see. like it. A passion fruit. Yes. Passion, passion fruit is expensive fruit. though. Passion For fruit real. is very expensive. So like but I said, we'll, we'll, we'll test the waters with some of those. Like I said, um, I'm really enjoying myself um, making these jams and jellies. We cannot wait to get them in you guys' uh, hands. We can't wait to take orders. We're excited to hear... Um, you know what you guys think about the jam um yeah i just can't wait i can't wait to get all of you guys' reviews and to get your feedback on things um i think we've had uh we're still waiting for on vicky <laughs> oh vicky yeah we we've had a couple we have chanel uh yeah. she'll, she'll give a review we gave her a grape uh the other day she loves it their whole family aren't kevin the it was strawberry it was strong oh it was yeah, strawberry she said the they strawberry. loved it yeah she said it was fire i'm so yeah. thankful i was so excited you guys She's, just makes us so excited to know it's um, a blessing that you guys are enjoying it yeah because I, it's like you know if we like it we know you guys are gonna love it so it gives me joy it gives us joy to know that you guys like it that much and, so and on a side note Tamika, I just saw that you were living in in Charlotte. What? That's amazing because she'll tell you before we before we decided on moving to Texas, we were actually very very close to moving to I think it was Greensboro. It was either Greensboro or Raleigh, one of the places, because I was getting ready to go to uh, software engineering school out there. Uh, and Charlotte, you know, who knows? It might come to Charlotte Web to North Kakalaki. One of these days. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Where's my jam? My birthday made a fifth. Aww. Happy birthday. <laughs> Aww. Your birthday just passed, Negro. I know you need That's to get out there. Alrighty. He trying to get a double birthday. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're going to give you a jam either way, man. So you know how that goes. 
But yeah, let let us know some of you guys' favorite jams, you know, because maybe we can send you guys some samples, um, you know, um, in exchange for like a review or something like that. You know what I mean? We would definitely uh, look forward to that. But with that being said, uh, you guys go back. Uh, if you didn't see part one of this video on how to make homemade uh, biscuits and then come back, you know, and watch this video. Uh, she talks about how to make them. Uh, she went into in depth of, you know, the different ingredients, exactly. uh, how long to have it in the oven, mm -hmm. etc. And make sure also to share, like this video, because pretty soon we're going to go on YouTube too. We're going to have a website up here in a couple weeks or so. So overall, just keep us in prayer. You know yes, what I mean? Guys. Just keep us in prayer. We love you guys. We love you guys so much. And if there's anything, oh, yes. Massey's. Massey's birthday is May the fifth. Massey. Oh yeah, I'm, I made it made it sixteenth. And right. Angela and, and what one more thing, not not to get too preachy. I'll just say this. I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh oh, she, who is kid? Uh, my sister said I'm gonna need y'all to mail over some of that peanut jam. <laughs> that peanut pi jam. Yeah, the pineapple. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? That pineapple jam off the hook. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I am so serious. It's off the hook. Well, you guys, we'll take a look. We'll look in and see about how to get some samples to you guys so that way you can try them out and tell us what you think. Um, if you like them, like I said, we'll be looking forward to play for you guys to place orders and stuff. So um, Dominique and I will be trying to work on that um, sometime this week perhaps yeah. to see if we can get some samples in you guys' hands. Yeah, so we're, we both, we're both very out. business and have other jobs, you know, do th different things. And I was going to tell you guys just on a, on a side note, just to keep, uh, us in prayer and I want to say this a lot of this came about because of sister Tawana and I want to give her her Tawana, props Tawana. And, and, and and even my brother Adi Cooley was telling us to do the videos did you tag her and already? yeah I did I tagged Tawana. and 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 um and and being obedient because initially we, we we weren't planning on moving out here you know we were basically west coast people we want to live stay on the west coast and we just West open side. West Side, as Tupac said, which you and I both know is the best side. <laughs> oh God! Anyway. <laughs> so, so, but seriously though, and we just obeyed the voice of the Holy Spirit, yeah, and Spirit. even against what a lot of people was telling us. And the Bible says He'll give you witty inventions and ideas, and your gift will make room. <clears throat> excuse me, your gift will make room for you. But that that's. Uh, contingent upon the fact that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and you're able to hear his voice and we just approach this from the position of service like we're going to show people how to make these jams and jellies and different things Daddy. because of the COVID-19 yeah. and we know that still is in play because eventually we it, there is going it's to more than likely to be a sh food shortage it's and people coming. are going to have to learn how to can yes, so we came from that position important. But Very even important. in that position, God opened up this door uh, for us just through people's comments and, and, and let us know he fulfilled that word said, said, your gift will make room for you. Yeah, so right. with that being said, just we just want to keep you guys encouraged because let me say this. Some of you guys have gifts to be evangelists, to be apostles, be pastors. To, to just to be to be servants and I sincerely believe super duper sincerely believe that the way to really do that effectively is to be an entrepreneur because if you look at the apostles in the Bible th th those people they were able to take off work and to serve and to do stuff right and they took off they and they took off, off. And they was t tent makers whatever they had to do they said they God gave them a gift because they weren't they they weren't under constraints of just say like a job to to hold them down. Right. So I just say that just to encourage you guys to look for things to do on the side. Encourage yourself. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah, look at things to do on the side and ask the Holy Spirit. See, at the end of the day, Dominique can tell you anything in the world, but the most important relationship that you will ever build on this earth uh, can you stop on our stuff? is a relationship. <laughs> being serious now. It's a relationship with the Holy Spirit of the living God. That's it. Develop that relationship with the Holy Spirit. 
My wife tell me to stop pounding. I'm, I was, she knew I was about to go in. Yeah, I'm Let like, get that out of here, baby. And <laughs> it's just like don't break this stuff. Right, just strong self. Yeah, I know for real. Yeah, like I be breaking stuff. Strength. I'm gonna need you to stop pounding on Gabbit. <laughs> she said, "Go, Danny." Uh, 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 Pastor Brett said, "Go, Danny." Happy birthday. Absolutely, Thank Paulette. You. Like what, what we were saying before you guys came on, we want to send some samples out to to you guys here. Hopefully, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna try to find some sample jars, or we yes. we gonna find something to do. We'll find you guys. We gonna something. find something to do. We gonna we gonna make it work. You know we'll what I mean? Figure it out, guys. We gonna Don't figure this buddy. thing out. Don't you buddy. Can't wait to taste. Amen, Sister Paulette. Thank you so much. And with that being said, keep us in your prayers. We'll we'll keep you and our prayers and. Uh, the name of our company is officially what, baby? The White Art Book. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you guys, I worked a 12-hour shift. I am so tired. The White Oak Barn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the White Oak Barn. Lord, that's a lot after 12 hours. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> Take care. Peace. <laughs>